we now rejoin our regularly scheduled program already in progress. As we get into wedding season, but it's a great excuse to learn how to uh, do, decorate my, my a piece My question of is, do we get to eat it? Oh, of yeah. Course. Of oh. Course. Absolutely, yeah. Even better. <laughs> sugar, sugar rush, we love yes, it. Yes, that would just be cruel to have you do all the work and not get to eat it. Well, we can't wait to join you, and we're actually going to steal Julie a little later on in the show to learn some of her tips and um, to see some of her works of art that couldn't make it through the door. We're talking oh, some big, wow. big cakes here. Yeah. But before we dive in yes. to our hot topics, Jeffrey, I know that there's always a lot of things happening at the Players Center, but there's two things coming up for the kids. Right. Tell us about this weekend, this Saturday, at Lakewood Ranch. Well, we have our Jack and Annie reading series, and it really is a great way to get kids engaged theatrically, but at the same time reading. So we offer them the book so they can follow along, but then Jack and Annie are there in character reading and acting it out as they go. So it's great for little kids and their parents sit with them. Um, it's really adorable. It's out at the polo grounds. There's a beautiful little home there that we go to, and it's a delightful way of getting kids engaged. And because because it's a little bit more theatrical, it fits in perfectly with our mission at the at the you know players because mm -hmm. we want to make sure we put our little artistic touch on things and getting kids active. Yes, yeah. yes, and and exposed to storytelling and theater at a young age is key. Yeah, and then they get to meet Jack and Annie and they get to sign autographs and I mean it's just it's a really delightful way of getting the little ones. Um, I think it's really it's good for most kids because then there's the older kids are actually reading and following mm -hmm. along too. So oh, that's yeah. great. It's a win-win. That'll be this Saturday. Yes. March 24th at the Sarasota Polo Club. I know you're, while you're still waiting for the big move yes. for the players to go to Lakewood Ranch, you still have a strong presence there. We're doing lots great. of stuff. Yes. And agreed. if the kids love the storytelling, you have a Broadway boot camp that starts next week. So parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, if there are kids that you think would benefit, uh, tell us about what this week will offer. Well, really, you know, there are kids, uh, like when I was a kid, when my parents were like, well, he, he's singing into the hairbrush, what do we do? Or he's, <laughs> he's singing to the cattle, and he's on the farm, he's on the farm, he's doing things weird he's dancing so what do we do with them and often they just need a little time on stage and if you have a professional there that kind of helps guide them then all of a sudden they're learning they're staying creative they're being active their phones are down mm -hmm. and they're actually able to learn something and as you and I were talking about sometimes those early times when you're able to have fun mm -hmm. and it's not work it sets you up for potential careers and job opportunities and how you speak with people and how you work with others so it's it's not just creative a great actor, yes. it's really building a better grown up, yes, which is all what we like that, to do. That will be valuable as they become adults. Yes. Some of the, the Acting, singing, number dancing. one thing I think is it builds this level of confidence in kids mm -hmm. because they can get up. You know how awkward they feel at that age? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden they get up, they do something, people go, Yes! And they go, Me? Yeah. Really? In, in, in our summer camp, we had a little kid who was a stone and he was so nervous he couldn't go on as a stone. And then he watched the performance. Oh, he played a stone. He played a <laughs> stone. He was, stoic. He was a rock. No, he was a rock. And then he he watched it. He watched it go through. And the next time he went out. And now he's doing leads for us Aww. four years later. This See? is great. Yeah. So you can find out more about yeah. any of these programs that the players are offering by visiting their website, of course, theplayers.org. Great things. I know some parents and grandparents are a little nervous, too, with school off next right. week. What are we going to do with the kids? So this is a great option. Well, it is time for our first hot topic. And we all value our green space here on the Sun Coast. And Manatee County is now making parks and rec a higher priority. The county is assembling a parks, rec, and open space master plan to provide better amenities and programs for an area that could grow close to a half million people in the next 25 years. Park officials see a need for more air-conditioned space for indoor activities. A hub and spoke method is being considered. That's where they'll have a larger regional facility and then smaller local buildings for neighborhoods. Residents have also said that they want a major linear path, something like Sarasota's Legacy Trail that would connect a bunch of the outdoor spaces. What do you think about this initiative? I love this so much, I can't even tell you. We live in a place where we can be outside Mm -hmm. where we can enjoy so many aspects of this city and to make it to enhance it like that yes I am in yes. I love that on my last vacation I was talking to Marcos about what the Japanese call uh, forest bathing and it's literally getting out into the open it's breathing it's looking it's observing and how that reinvigor reinvigorates you invigorates you but it also engages all of your senses and it is like a little mini vacation if you can get out and get away from oh. all the technology and everything mm -hmm. i think there's nothing better you will see healthier people 
who tend to go out and enjoy the fresh air and sunshine sometimes. Yes, and I just love that, that Manatee County said this is important to us yes. and that we have to have a master plan for our outdoor space. And you look at, you know, if they're going to have smaller facilities, what this could open up for, for sporting teams mm -hmm. and events. Mm -hmm. Because right now, if, you're, if everyone's fighting for the same event space on a Saturday afternoon, mm -hmm. right. well, you can't have any growth mm -hmm. in extracurricular. Well, so also, you want to make sure that people aren't building things where now you need green space. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. there does have to be, that has to be well that thought is a, out. That's a great point, especially as we see more and more development. They're, they're, they're putting out their arms yes. and saying, these are the lines <laughs> right, for our right, outdoor right. space. Yeah, Good that. for them. Kudos. Kudos to Manatee. Yeah. I, I'm always very happy for what our neighbors to the north are doing. Yes. All right. Facebook, speaking mm. of uh, kind of the opposite oh, of, no. uh, of uh. being <laughs> outdoors. But Facebook stock is actually being blamed for a big slide in the markets this week. Shares fell after an analytics firm said it was able to collect data on 50 million people's profiles without their consent. So now hashtag delete Facebook is trending. Mm. But here's the deal. If you delete, you will flat out lose everything you have ever put out on their platform, including all wall posts and photos. Experts are saying if you do want to take a break from Facebook for a bit, it might be a better choice to deactivate your page. It'll seemingly disappear, but should you ever choose to return, you can just log back in. All right, I have to ask, this is a silly question, but would you ever totally delete Facebook? Yes. Mm. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Say more about that. What are your secrets? <laughs> well, no. I do truly feel that there are people and organizations that are looking into us way, way more than we would ever know, way below the surface. And it does make me nervous that social media has become so prevalent and it's negative. And, we f and I, f I am on my phone all the time. Often it's on Facebook and I catch myself not enjoying the beautiful mm. weather, not enjoying the wonderful play, not in, not enjoying the people that are around me and I'm stuck looking at an app and it's just, it is ludicrous to think that that is what we have come to that we need Facebook all the time. I would I would absolutely delete it. I would save my pictures, but I would delete it. Well, that's it. the thing. I mean, you know, how many people now you don't back up any pictures that you have? I mean, I have family pictures most of my life has been documented on Facebook yes, and that's I haven't true. backed it up anywhere else. The elf, what would I do with all my elf exactly. pictures? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> L live a nicer life, perhaps. Well, I look at a different perspective on this. Mm -hmm. I totally hear you, and I get that, and I resent the time I'm on that phone sometimes. And with that said, I feel like it has a place if it's used properly and we're not being invaded by this force. Yeah. It's a great place to share information, stay connected with people you don't normally connect with. Mm -hmm. I'm a businesswoman. I post things on there. Mm -hmm. I've actually had people respond to me and go, hey, you'd be a great speaker for our event. I saw your video. Sure. You, that looks amazing. I would hate to give up that platform. Uh, so, I, so from that perspective, no. I wouldn't be willing to give it up, and I, it allows me to stay in touch with people I want to mm -hmm. know about. Right. So, I, but I'm torn. That's a great point. Now, I, you know, th the point of a lot of people deleting it is that they're nervous now about their personal information exactly. being shared. I think one of the things that I saw this morning was if if Jeffrey takes a quiz, what color am I? Oh. And he acknowledges to give his information. Well, now oh. we're realizing he's his contacts get uploaded as well, and just by me being a friend of Jeffrey's or in his contacts, now my mm. information information could potentially be compromised. So this, I think, is the thing that has everybody thinking, oh. is this really worth it anymore? Oh. It's, it's data mining, yes. right? And it's got a, it, isn't there rules or regulations about something like that? Or there's, are, there's a big discussion of, you know, if you want to unsubscribe from an e-newsletter, it's very easy. You know how to do it. There should be that same type of transparency with Facebook. Mm. So we'll keep an eye on it. But if you are going to delete your page, just know you might lose some pictures you don't have anywhere else. Well, mm. changing gears a little bit. We all want to be happy. And we're not saying Facebook Facebook will do that for us. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the question. Could thinking about achieving happiness too much actually have an opposite effect? In a study released this month, researchers found that thinking about whether you're happy or setting a goal for happiness is actually a big buzzkill. Self-analysis about happiness can actually have the opposite effect. The experts say let happy just happen. They say not to overthink. Now, Linda, great that you're here. You have made a career out of being positive. What do you think about this theory? I think that happiness is found in this moment mm. in what you are doing and what you are focused on. I, I believe that if I'm trying to be happy, I'm focused out there and I'm seeing some elusive thing. Right now, there is tremendous joy to be found in having Right here, right here with you right, guys. Right. But if I put myself over there, 
I lose that. Mm -hmm. So we're constantly outside of this moment. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. So I can see where, I, I can see, I read those uh, studies and I can see where that is the result if you are focused on out there instead of right mm -hmm. here. It's like the phrase, the pursuit of happiness. If you remove the pursuit of, mm -hmm. then it actually does kind of well, you're just get, get to where you're talking about. You are being. I may have had a great day on the beach last Sunday, and so if I now try to plan a day on the beach in two weeks, who's to say that those same feeling will be there? And that's what I think the study goes for. At the same time, mm -hmm. you can recreate those feelings of happiness just by lying in your bed and remembering that day on the beach and the smell of the water and your friends and the sand, and you can recreate that feeling in that moment, but to try to recreate that takes on a whole nother level well, and, of your left brain. And, and then if you're not successful, then you feel bummed. You're like, well, that wasn't as good as the last time I was yes. on the beach. And so then you're setting yourself up for a little bit of failure at the same mm -hmm. time too. I so, think oftentimes happy, happy moments pop up because they were unexpected. And it right. was like, oh, we had such a great time at that thing we didn't know we were gonna be at, or we all ran into each other. So all right, may, you might be able to take pieces of happy moments with you, right. but you can't recreate happiness. It also means it that happen. you need to really appreciate it when you're really together and you've got it and it's all working your way. That's appreciate a great point. It. That's mm. a great point. I appreciate it right now. Me too. Well, here's a happy story. A cool story came out from a married couple in China over the weekend. It turns out that their history was more complicated than they thought. This Chinese couple was searching through old photos and they made this discovery that they almost met 11 years earlier. <gasps> Close enough that they actually appeared in the same photo so there she is in the photo on the left he was in the back of the photo and then the uh, the oh. photo on the right is his photo from that same moment where he you can see that she was in the background so they were at the same place 11 years before both have photos hadn't met yet isn't that sweet Ooh. that is yeah, I've often thought all these people that we meet throughout our course of our lives I wonder if there's not a lot more of that that mm. that, that the universe puts people in our way uh, intentionally and then sometimes it's meant to be and then yeah. sometimes it's not okay I have one one. Okay. <laughs> I have one. Bring it. John Scalzi and I thought we met in 1996 we, at a fundraiser. It turns out we discovered we had met actually about 10, 15 years prior to that. We performed in the same show. We both did <laughs> South Pacific at the Golden Apple. Oh. But you know that the 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 uh, nurses and the, yeah, the nurses. Oh and the, yeah, the, the men's chorus and female chorus. They don't really mm -hmm. connect a lot. So we were in the same show. We. Wow. The playbill, and amazing? we were both there. I don't ever remember oh. him being there. It wasn't the time. It wasn't, it wasn't the, the time. Right. Because when it was the time, it certainly was. I love that. <laughs> I love that feel good story. Well, it, what it is time for is the happy hour forecast. We know you're going to want to check in on the weather, but when we come back, we have great news from Gulf Coast Medical Group about how the Sun Coast stacks up in a happiness survey. Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your first alert weather update. Right now we continue to watch a severe thunderstorm making its way through Manatee County. Uh, that's in effect until 445. It does include North Sarasota County from Fruitville northward and University included in that severe thunderstorm morning. The heaviest weather by far uh, now occurring into Palmetto, Bradenton, stretching up to Rabonia and near Terracia. Lightning strikes have been fairly impressive uh, over the past uh, hour or so. You can see that the number of strikes up to 552. We also have some signs of early rotation, although there have been no reports of any kind of water spouts or torna tornadoes at this point. We have had some damage reported in Pinellas County. Now that tornado watch remains in effect until 7 p.m. And that will stay with us, it looks like, for the next couple of hours. A marine weather warning in effect until 445. On top of that, a severe thunderstorm warning in effect, as I mentioned, for most of Manatee County, including Parrish, all the way down to Lakewood Ranch and Sarasota. We'll have a complete update coming up at 5. See you then. The Sun Coast is the proud recipient of some very good medical news. A health ranking survey ranked Sarasota County number two in the U.S. for overall health factors and number six for overall health outcomes. Dr. Mala Singh from Gulf Coast Medical Group is here to explain the importance of these rankings. Welcome, Dr. Mala. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so, we, you know, this is, this is exciting, but we really want to know what it actually means. So, <laughs> you know, we rank very well, we know, now in healthy lifestyles. So what does that mean as far as the factors? Well, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a whole lot of parameters we're looking at. We're comparing ourselves to uh, number one, which is St. John's, uh, number two, which is Collier County. And we're looking at different parameters like uh, uh, clinical things like uh, access to health care, uh, exercise, obesity, smoking, uh, all mm -hmm. the different things that, that we, we've talked about. 
So these are the factors that go into determining this overall health outcome where we ranked number six. Yes. So when we look at what, it's not just a matter of one piece, it's all four of these together. So more importantly to our health, what should we be doing better? I mean, how can we improve? I'd like to see us number one. Mm. Oh and, <laughs> and there's a lot of things we can do. Uh, the main focus of what I'm seeing is uh, things like obesity. Uh, mm. One third of the adults in the US are obese. Uh, mm. Smoking is still a big problem, mm. even with all the uh, education we have out there. Uh, smoking. Inactivity, I see. Inactivity and access to exercise. In 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 inactivity to exercise, uh, alcohol-related deaths. Uh, uh, STDs are rising in adults and teenagers. Still uh, in our area, so that is, that is definitely an area, area for improvement. Teen births, uh, there's about 200,000 uh, teenagers that give birth every year. So that's a big rising problem, even though it has decreased in the, since the last year, uh, and that may be because of uh, counseling mm -hmm. and use of uh, you know, contraceptives, but uh, it's still a problem. And you, you know, as you get to see, you know, your patients come through here on the Sun Coast, mm -hmm. yes, it's great to celebrate that we made the top of a list like this, but there is still this very important need to improve. We shouldn't, we shouldn't rest and relax yet. No, we shouldn't. Uh, access to health care is a big problem. Mm. Uh, we, tr we need to get better access and we need our uh, legislators to do something so every person in the United States has access to health care, access to their doctors. Um, not only that, seeing your doctor is good, uh, but Compliance. Compliance is a big problem. Uh, just going to see your doctor and you know meeting with them and getting the recommendations, following the recommendations are very important. So just seeing the doctor and coming home and saying, okay, I saw my doctor, mm -hmm. but now I'm not going to follow through with what he uh, has to or she has to say. Mm -hmm. So that's really important. Mm -hmm. uh, I see that in the elderly that um, Sarasota has a large senior population and they're very well managed. They have their physicians, they have access to health care, uh, they're very compliant, they worked very hard, they, um, they saved up and they want to live, they want to spend, uh, be happy in their retirement, right? And like we talked about retirement is a state of mind. <laughs> now uh, retirement and happiness is a state of mind. So, but now with the younger generation it's a big challenge. They have very poor access to health care, they are struggling. Uh, teen, teen moms, uh, single, mo single mothers, uh, they're all struggling. Poor access to health care, uh, they're working two jobs, they cannot, they don't have uh, any access to exercise because they're so busy working, looking mm -hmm. care of the, taking care of the children. So that's a big problem. Wow. What about room with. for improvement in mental health services? Uh, mental health, uh, we, compared to number one, we are lacking in mental health mm -hmm. providers. And we definitely need more mental health providers in in this area. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, so these are there's some great takeaways here, and that yes, it, it's great to be acknowledged, but there's still a lot of work to be done, and it does done, still yes. rely on each individual. So we don't celebrate yet, but yes. you can find out more by talking to Dr. Mala further. You can find more information at Gulf Coast Medical Group. Dot com. You can visit their website. Coming up next, we'll learn about luxury cake design with Julie Defonce. Zupan, part of the U.S. Paralympic rugby team. In my game, movement is everything. I get frustrated when my move is blocked, especially when that guy has no right to be there, even just for a minute. I love a challenge, but I don't like to play this game every day. A message from the United Spinal Association. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. In life after the military, it's our duty as veterans to have each other's back. I'm retired Colonel Greg Gatson, and it's my mission to help you get the benefits and services you've earned. If you need to file a VA claim, remember these important steps. Submit an online claim through ebenefits.va.gov. Work with an accredited veteran service organization or VSO. And if you need to attend a VA claim exam, please go. Visit this website to learn what to expect.
I'm Anne. I'm a scientist. Recycling takes a team. Why don't you let me and me help you out? Everyone plays a part. Don't trash. I love taking stuff apart and building new things out of it. What could be treasure? Pal's my most advanced android. <gasps> this is awesome. You haven't seen anything yet. Give your cardboard box another life. Recycle. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us. No celebration is complete without a cake to bring it all together. But for Julie Defonce, it's way more than a cake. It's a work of art. Julie, your cakes are legendary. I, they are phenomenal. How much work goes into creating one of these cakes? Sometimes a lot of work. It could be weeks, it wow. could be months. Um, it just depends on what the client wants, yeah. Just like a work of art, just yes. like a painting. Yes. In fact, we have some pictures here. Show us what, tell us what we're looking at. So this was a wedding I did in Lisbon. Oh, we're. Yes, okay, it's, very it's, a, it's Sorry, a beautiful yeah. assembly of your work. So yeah. we're not talking about, you know, for most of us, we look at a cake, okay, well, it might be a few days or something, but you're, you have well, to plot out weeks in advance. Oh, yeah, it starts with the whole design process mm -hmm. and the communication with the couple and then all the sugar flowers and the details um, take a lot of time because they're all made by hand. And your sugar flowers, I know, are something that you're really, really known for in yes. addition to all of your work. Yeah. How much work goes into making the flowers? There are some of my flowers that take eight hours just to make one. Wow. One flower, one eight flower. hours. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And you're hand painting each one of the petals? Yes. My background is fine arts, so wow. I really get into all the little details, and I think that's what makes my work uh, different and unique, you know. Well, so wait, how did you go from fine arts to all of a sudden one day going, ooh, I'll take all my talents and put them into <laughs> making cakes? <laughs> oh, it's a long story. I got into publishing, and uh, but I always liked to bake. And my grandmother was a great baker, and my mom is too. And it just was a natural progression. Oh my! I just should have done it sooner, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so born gorgeous. to make cake. I yes. love it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now uh, you've made some really large cakes in your I lifetime. Have. Can I you? have. The the biggest one so far was 19 tiers. Wow. And uh, this year I'm going to top it. Oh, this wow. year, this summer in is Portugal. This, this is the 19th. Is this this is the 19 tier. Yep. So I have a bride this year who wants um, something bigger and more elaborate. So uh, <laughs> it'll take me a while, but I'm going to do it. Do you need like a, a, a step stool to get up to cut the top layers? I think I'm going to need various ladders, <laughs> and my husband's an engineer, so he's going to have to help me figure that part of it. So that's a good question here. Yeah. So what we can see and appreciate, like, like even sta seeing the bride standing next to yeah. that cake, we really see the scope of it. What is one of the challenges that the average ordina ordinary person like myself would not realize? Is it transporting the cake? The worst part is the transportation, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. So a cake like that was transported over the course of two days, and actually we had difficulty getting it in through the doors of the Ritz. We had to walk around the block outside. There were six of us carrying uh, the base part of it. And that, that was actually kind of funny. It seemed like a reality <laughs> show, but it wasn't funny at the time. <laughs> and, you know, you feel this huge sigh of relief when you're done and it's all set up and and it's okay and you know my go question on to the next my one. question would always be support because the higher you yeah. go you've got to be like every half an inch of tilt can oh. be dangerous well every tier has a uh, structure inside of it so dowels and support you know oh good i was envisioning this long one long no. dowel <laughs> down the center there is one down the center but there are various in in all the tiers so, so okay. as you make more elaborate cakes and then the demand becomes greater for more elaborate you know you yeah. keep setting the bar what is something that you're working on maybe that's coming up that you that we can see well um I just think, you know, more elaborate, mm -hmm. more unique, um, more hand painting, just things that are very different from what you've seen before. So people don't want, especially when they ask me, they don't want to 
copy something. They just want to create something specific for them that no one's seen before. Wow. You are one of a kind. Yes. There is no, you are in a category <laughs> of one, Julie. <laughs> That's good for me. <laughs> That's good for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so, so much. Thank for you. more information about Julie's luxury cake design, you can visit her website. It's amazing at juliedefense.com. Julie, we can't wait to join you later on in the kitchen. I and next, the perfect new accessories for warmer weather with Treat Boutique. Runs as art. You know the name. You know the building. But do you know what's inside? Yes, Rugs as Art is Florida's number one area rug superstore. But there is so much more. Amazing furniture, accessories, and art. All this and more. Come see for yourself. You'll love our personal touch and be pleasantly surprised by our affordable prices. Rugs as Art and more. There is so much more to explore. The 2018 Sarasota County Fair is set to begin March 16th through 25th. This year, there will be rides for everyone thanks to Bell City Amusements. Experience your favorite entertainers along with some new and exciting acts like the Tiger Encounter, the Kachunga and Alligator Show, comedian ventriloquist Steve Brogan, plus our new and exciting SRQ schools at its best. And remember, ride arm bands all day, every day. The 2018 Sarasota County Fair, March 16th through 25th. See you there. According to a new survey by U.S. News & World Report, three of Alabama's top four hotels and resorts are part of the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail Resort Collection. The Grand Hotel Marriott Resort in Point Clear, the Battle House Renaissance Mobile Hotel & Spa, and the Renaissance Birmingham Ross Bridge Golf Resort & Spa. Hey, we didn't invent Southern hospitality, we just offer more of it. Visit rtjgolf.com resorts to find out more. ABC7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Watch ABC7 wherever you are. On our live stream, on mysuncoast.com, on the ABC7 My Suncoast app. Powered by the iAssociates, providing sight for life. Featuring traffic maps and live radar. Dining with recipes and My Suncoast restaurant guide. Visit mysuncoast.com. Click on the apps tab to download the ABC7 My Suncoast app for Apple and Android. You know, fortunately, this was my first job out of college, so I was able to uh, come back home and work in my hometown. I wore two hats. I was sports director and I was a news anchor. Uh, I did that for a few years and then decided to go full-time into news. Well, I love our team here at ABC7. We have a great mix, and it really is a great mix of, of personalities, of experience, that meshes really well into a really strong team. I'm Scott Dennis, and I'm here for you. Once you get atrial fibrillation, you need to have a very close relationship with your primary doctor. Prevention is the whole ball game here, because once you have a stroke, you can't undo it. A year without stroke is a year that you can enjoy doing the things that you've worked all your life to finally get to do. You took care of yourself. You did what is necessary for you to be around one more year. And then next year, we'll celebrate one more year without a stroke. Spring has officially sprung, so it's a great time to check in with our local Suncoast boutiques for some great ideas to transition our accessories from warmer weather. So, Nicole Pepidorn is the owner of Treat Boutique in Sarasota. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you for having me today. So you're most welcome. So, what are people shopping for now that the weather is getting even nicer? Well, we're trying to transition from our winter into our spring summer wardrobe mm -hmm. and which this is a great opportunity to do that kind of do some brighter colors florals ruffles a lot of like bright colors and patterns nice excellent and you look like you've brought some wonderful things with you i know is anything left in the store you brought <laughs> a little sampling of everything there's a lot of good stuff still <laughs> left i promise all right so starting with clothing over next to jeffrey love this mm -hmm. so this is you're going to see a lot of this tie up in the front and the kimono sleeve You'll see this on dresses, and you'll also see it in tops this spring and summer. Mm. It's a very flattering look on all ages and all sizes. Love it. Oh, nice. Excellent. Gorgeous. And it looks, it looks like you can wear it, you know, right off the beach, right to a nice dinner. To a wedding? Yes. I mean, you could totally dress huh? this up, dress it down. Depending on your shoes and your bag and your jewelry, that's a great transition piece. And the fabric looks so thin. Fair, Florida weight. I love that. <laughs> Florida weight. 
it? Yes. Yeah, that's thin. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, and it also comes with a slip liner that's not attached that you could use with other items. Oh, interesting. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's so. versatile. Yes. All right, so uh, speaking of versatile, you carry all types of clothing. Let's talk about the SRQ hats, which I am coveting them so badly at mm -hmm. Eatwood. We do. It's yeah. a great hometown pride. It's unisex. The nice thing about it is it's fully adjustable. They wash and wear great. Oh, nice. um, I've lost a few of those in the bay. <laughs> so, they're, oh. yeah. But they're, they're perfect for, for working out. They're perfect to show your hometown pride when you're traveling. When I travel with mine, people are always like, oh, SRQ, that's Sarasota. Yes, so, yes. Yeah. yes. So that's the AVA brand. Nice. All right. Now, right next door, something that is near and dear to our hearts, mm. wine accessories. Wine, <laughs> yes. So this little travel sippy cup, going to hold 17 ounces of your favorite beverage. Say what? 17 <laughs> ounces. <laughs> Just for the record, a bottle of wine is 25. That's a very generous pour. Whoa. The lid pops off. You're going to pour. Can I try it? Go yes, for it. please. Okay. okay, so the top comes off. Yep. Wow. Oh. And then you're going to fill it up with your favorite drink. Glug, 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 glug. Yes. <laughs> Put the lid back on. Right. And you're going to do a little lefty loosey on the top. Drinky, drinky. Oh. Righty, tighty. <laughs> Stow it and go. Wow. Yep. And it stays on and it stays off. It does. That's very secure. It does. And it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. It's got gripper and handles on it. Yeah. And it's also dishwasher safe. Oh. Even better. So the silicone sleeve stays on in the dishwasher. Wow. Top rack that. only. Look so how cool it's, that is. So, yep. That and you could drink with the lid on or the lid off. Yes, I know. It, it definitely fits the Florida lifestyle. It's I good outdoors it. oh, patio. Nice. And it's glass. That's really That's cool. I love the it's orange thing glass. to pick up. So you're drinking wine out of glass and not plastic. All right, so keeping that theme going, mm -hmm. next, uh, this sounds amazing. Tell us about Prosecco Pong. Okay, so Prosecco <laughs> Pong is, is just, it's a take on a beer pong. Yeah. So we are playing this at Girls Nights In, Girls Nights Out. We are doing this at bridal showers, baby showers. All sorts of boys night in, gathers. boys night out, boys yes. night yeah. in, boys night yeah. out. Prosecco is also unisex. It, it yes. is, it is, it is absolutely. Jeffrey and I uh, can come over. <laughs> How about couples night in, couples night out? Yes. Perfect for a game night accessory. I love Prosecco this. Prosecco. So it comes with the glasses. It also comes with a cute little pink ping pong. And all you have to do is provide the Prosecco. It makes a great hostess gift too. Right, oh, right. So great. if you're going to somebody's house and you're like, hey, this would be fun to bring. Bring a bottle of Prosecco, bring Prosecco oh, Pong. what a great Speak idea. Share the bottle yeah. and then they still have the gift afterwards. So Prosecco is part of your trade, right? It, you you it have is. something, what? You, what did you share with me earlier? We always have a bottle cold in the refrigerator at the store. Okay, what's the address uh, That's my again? girl. <laughs> 1849 <laughs> Hillview. I'm coming, Good baby. Show. Yes. Add a girl. All right, so eyewear I know can really kind of spice up your wardrobe. Absolutely, especially in Florida. These, mm. um, this is by Boo Planet. Would you like to try this on? Oh, well, sure. So, all made with sustainable materials. Yeah, baby. Blue Planet has a buy <laughs> one, get one mm -hmm. program. So for every pair you, you buy, they donate a pair. Oh, Which wow. is really, really, really wow. nice. Yes, they nice. come with a case, and their whole thing is visualized change. Linda, you're rocking so, those. Those look good on you. Yeah. UVA, UVB, and a lot of them are... Um, are also going to be polarized, so that's great for if you're if you're boating or fishing. Nice, I love oh, this. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah. jewelry. Let's talk yeah. jewelry here. You have okay. a, a very very interesting um, line here. Tell us about this. So this is the Goriana line. This is fabulous because you could wear this necklace. We also have it here in the gold, the gold with the turquoise. This is actual genuine turquoise. You could wear this three different ways. So you could put it on like this, then you're going to put the bead up and make it a little Y lariat oh. style necklace. Drop the bead down to wherever you want. You could flip it over, wear it this way, or you could also flip it over and then tighten it, and then it becomes a choker. That's really Ooh. cool. So these all do the same thing. So it's a very versatile piece. I love um, that. And colorful. That's a great very gift. Colorful. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk um, handbags now. Okay. So you have some really, really interesting ones, and I want to start with this Tyvek material. So this is, it's, it feels like it's really hard and like papery. It gets very soft and buttery over time. This is great for travel, super lightweight. You could carry this as a clutch. You could carry this with your sunscreen, your toiletries. This bag is so versatile. Sand doesn't stick to it. Wow. It's water resistant. Can't be waterproof because it does have a zipper. Mm -hmm. But it's the number one selling bag in camel in the store. That's really cool. They also cool make here. a very Let's large tote, which well, is Tyvek, Tyvek is officially a paper, though, right? It so is. It's, it's and you see it as a building material. It right. It, so, yes. It insulates and wow. Yep. And that's turning up in a whole lot of things. We've seen watches We've, made out of them. So this we, I've is, seen wallets, purses. I mean, this is just great. I mean, this is like sand, at Siesta Key sand that sticks to everything right. will not stick to this. Can no. I just say no. travel, yeah. lightweight, yes. fabulous. Oh, yes. That's yes. a great point. Yes. These are custom with um, sayings for the sun coast. 
So tell us about this line. So this is Marsha made it, mm -hmm. and she's over in Boynton Beach, and she's awesome. You can have custom made ones. We carry a collection this at the crazy. store that save water, drink champagne. We, Perfect. We right. always, yes. I'll um, take that one, please. We have Life is Better in Sarasota. Yes. We also have Siesta Key. You could also custom make these as well if you had a hashtag for a wedding oh. or something or a corporate event. So you could, we've done this for brides before. Wow. So those are great That also. would be interesting what to do. That's a good gift. Item. Yes. yes, these are all great. There. Congratulations on your move. I know you've moved Thank to you. Hillview. Thank so you. Thank you. People should yes. stop in and see you. And like Jeffrey said, you've got a bottle of Prosecco right behind there. the counter. Always. <laughs> always. Well, you can find more information from Nicole. At, you can find her online at treatsarasota.com. Stop in. You can find so many great items for yourself or for anyone who's visiting you this spring. Coming up next, we're going to learn how to keep your dogs moving even as they age. K9 Corral is here. Watch Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7, weekday starting at 5. This is an ABC7 News Update. Good afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your first alert weather update. Things are starting to calm down a little bit, but still uh, some heavy weather out in Manatee and east portions of Manatee County, stretching down into North Sarasota County. The severe thunderstorm warning, which had been in place for Manatee and North Sarasota County, has canceled, been, been canceled now. So there are no longer severe weather warnings for our area. However, there are marine warnings and there are some bigger storms developing down to our south. Now, this heavy rainfall will continue, but it's starting to lessen now in the Manatee and Sarasota counties. We had a lot of lightning strikes earlier across Bradenton, Palmetto, also near Palmasola, as well as Anna Maria Island. That has since moved on. And now this is a new severe thunderstorm warning. It has just came down from the National Weather Service, so it does now include of Highlands County. Uh, the marine warning continues down to our south, but no more warnings uh, for Manatee or Sarasota counties. More on your forecast at 5. Breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. I just need a second. Is your weight holding you back and affecting your health? Did you see this? Hmm? Your cousin had a heart attack. Really? Excess weight or obesity can be serious, but you can do something about it. Visit yourweightmatters.org. Download the free toolkit to prepare you to speak with a healthcare provider. Your weight does matter. Accept the challenge and take charge today. Visit yourweightmatters.org. Dear parents, it's time for a pop quiz. What's the best kind of play for kids? Play that makes us think? Or helps us pretend? Or teaches us rules? Or to be creative? Actually, every kind of play is important because different kinds of play give us different kinds of skills. Help us mix up the ways we play. Okay, class dismissed. Now go play. Invest in Kids is a $7.5 million project to build a new Boys and Girls Club in South Manatee County. I'm Caleb Grimes, and I was a club kid. It's where I learned important life lessons, leadership, integrity, responsibility, and baseball. Thousands of kids attend the Boys and Girls Clubs, and after years of use, their club is slowly falling apart. Help us invest in kids. Make your donation today. Thank you. Well, we know that as we age, moving around doesn't get much easier, and that's true for our pets as well. Many dogs have mobility issues that make getting around tough. But Mark Shambor from Canine Corral is here with ways to help our four-legged friends. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. And you brought a special friend who we're going to meet in just a moment. But tell me first, is losing control of leg motion, is that common for a lot of dogs? It's very common. A lot of people think that it's just with the large dogs because of hip, hip dysplasia. Right. But actually, uh, pugs especially have a high percentage of loss of leg movement. Not necessarily to the point where they would have to have a cart or something like a wheelchair, but it does get to the point where uh, other than supplements, when they don't help, you may have to have some, some type of an accessory to help them. Well, speaking of accessories, you brought a friend here. Introduce us to Spencer and tell us, um, tell us a Spencer story. 
Well, um, this is Spencer. I met him on a, I do a radio thing, and he was one of the dogs up for adoption on the radio show, so the country station. And um, he was shot with a pellet gun. And uh -huh. being the person I am, I fell in love with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he, I'm fostering him right now. And, um, uh, you know, it's it's very unfortunate, but on the other hand, there's a lot of people that have helped to take care of getting him to where he is today. Mm -hmm. He's got uh, wheels. He's yes. got wheels, and I'll tell you, he's a little nervous today, but he yeah. can go. <laughs> yes, of course. You know, he was when you brought him in. He was scooting around the studio, and just yeah. his his spirit is not broken at all. Not at all. Uh, you know, having a handicapped dog can be. Um, a lot of people want to be noble and they want to adopt and this, but there is a lot of work that goes along with it. Uh, I do have to uh, uh, express his pee because he, his urine, mm -hmm. because he can't go because of his, his paralyzed legs. So, you know, and that's three, four, five times a day. And of course the drag bag and getting everything, but the smile that he has oh. is so worth oh. it. Oh, there's, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, all right, talk to us about, um, how did you get him to walk? Tell us a little bit about the cart that you have okay. here. Okay, well the cart, uh, what I did with that, I put it in there and we kind of did um, a little, where I threw a treat ahead of him. And with the treat being ahead of him, uh, in fact, we did a little video on it. Uh, I kind of said, well, I'm going to get a treat, and then all of a sudden, once he didn't see me, because he fell in love with me, <laughs> he's just going away. That's Whoa. his first walk there. Whoa. And I don't know if I was more excited or he was, <laughs> but it was really an uh, oh. almost like the goosebumps. Here we're at Lowe's. Uh, we took him in, and he's actually kind of leading me back out to the checkout. <laughs> and, oh. and, you know, I, I dropped the leash, and I just let him go. And, you know, it's really... Uh, heartwarming to see him not even realize that he has a handicap. Mm -hmm. uh, he plays well with the other dogs. He doesn't realize either. He really no. doesn't as he's running around. No, you know, I put him in this drag bag, which he can drag himself uh, yeah, around. Yeah, so this is another, yeah, is, yeah, another say, tool besides the cart. This, Tell us about it. It's not a dress for the dog, like you would dress <laughs> Lulu out. <laughs> it is actually a drag bag that goes on the dog. And see how happy he is in the mm -hmm. picture there? He drags himself around so he doesn't scuff himself up. Oh. Because when they found mm -hmm. him as a stray, uh, he was reported as an injured stray. He was scuffed up really bad on his hind legs from all the tension of the, oh, the sure. concrete and stuff. So oh. this saves his paws and it makes it so he can play with the other dogs. And the other dogs are like, uh, okay, well, I, whatever it is, I, I like you. <laughs> 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 and you have something over here too. Tell us about the lift harness. Well, uh, the lift harness, they have, uh, that is where you can actually guide your dog along. Let's say that you've got a dog that's uh, just got some rear leg mobility issues. You can let the dog walk and actually uh, use it as a leash rather than the leash in the front. They also have one like that that goes to the front and the back and one that goes to the, the front only. Depending upon the injury that your dog has or the condition your dog would determine if you did the cart the drag bag is for no mobility at all. But the harnesses are always going to be good for just helping guide the dog along when they just struggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. Give them a little extra little tug. You're giving them a little, yeah. little extra height. And I know sometimes getting up for some dogs can be difficult mm -hmm. as they get older, and so that's a nice way that's to just right. even give and them you know, that assistance. We sell natural sub uh, supplements at our store, but sometimes it gets beyond that to where you really do have to have a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it says it's said that it takes a village to make something happen and I've got to hand it off to uh, Satchel's Iris with Satchel. She actually saved his life because oh. he was going to be, he was on the euthanization list. And of course when I met her at the radio thing, I, we, I said, well, you know, we could do some cold laser therapy on him, uh, get him mobile, get him a cart and Walking Pets donated the cart. Oh. So a big shout out to them and I'm telling you, it's like a village oh. getting this all together. Yes. It's really awesome. So much it's great help it. and look at him. He makes look it worth it. Yay. He might be a little nervous on TV, but he is scooting around and there's great video on K9 Corral's Facebook page if Definitely. you want to see Spencer scooting around the Sun Coast. Yay. Well, for more information about all of your pet needs, including daycare and boarding, you can find K9 Corral on their website, K9CorralSRQ.com. Coming up next, a Suncoast art gallery features some big names. You did good. I'm Deshauna Barber. In 2016, I was proud to win the title of Miss USA. 
What makes me just as proud is my service in the U.S. military. In the service, a soldier gains skills and learns values like discipline and leadership. That makes them an asset to any business that hires them. If you're an employer on behalf of Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, remember to hire smart and bet on a vet. Visit saluteheroes.org or call this number to learn more. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Coast Guard, we are taking on water. The United States Coast Guard. They secure our ports and waterways, protect our environment, keep drugs away from our kids, and save lives. It's dangerous work. And in times of triumph or tragedy, the Coast Guard Foundation answers the call to support Coast Guard members and their families. Learn more at CoastGuardFoundation.org. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always place the mission first. They stand ready to respond to any crisis. I will never accept defeat. They serve in their communities as citizens and as soldiers. I will never quit. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. Well, we are huge fans of the arts here on the Sun Coast, and Chase and Galleries in Sarasota has opened its new location. Our very own Linda Carson went to check it out, and she was there with, you won't believe it, actress and artist Jane Seymour. Jane Seymour's exhibit, along with her sons, was on display last week. Who knew yeah. that Jane was an artist? If you missed it, there is still some good news. There's another big big exhibit coming. The daughter of Salvador Dali's publisher has brought her Dali collection to Chasen Galleries. You'll be able to meet her March 24th and 25th. Big names, big names in the art galleries and the art scene here on the Sun Coast. Check out ChasingGalleries.com backslash Sarasota. Well, we're going to check out Cake Design with Julie Defonce. We'll be getting some tips on how to make these gorgeous works of art. ABC7, the Suncoast's official Florida lottery station. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. This is an ABC7 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. It's been a wild afternoon with heavy weather and severe thunderstorms making their way through 
western portions of Manatee County. Things are starting to calm there somewhat, and I don't expect to see anything too rough into places like Palmetto, Braden, as well as Anna Maria and Longbow Key for the rest of the night. Maybe a few brief showers. The heavy weather by far is to the east near Duet and spreading off to the east. A tornado watch remains in effect. That may expire soon, though. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Uh, again, there is a special marine warning down for the coastal waters from just north of Venice, southward down to Inglewood. This is the one that we have to worry about. A severe thunderstorm warning in effect now for Hardy County, uh, spreading off to the east in northern Highlands County. That's in effect until 5 p.m. tonight. That includes Wachula, Avon Park, and Sebring as that storm makes its way to the east. You can see that intense line of some heavy weather moving in that direction, so look out, especially east of Wachula and into northern portions of Highlands. More at 5. Keep up with the Sun Coast. Watch your favorite ABC7 shows on your streaming device. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He really likes to be around people. And as soon as I start to make my breakfast, Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I mean, look at this little face. How do you not love him? What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I know, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. It was the. Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. I witnessed him have two heart attacks in ICU. He went through seizures. We'd much rather have Aaron like this than dead. A lot of parents don't have that luxury. He can't talk. He can't walk. This is a condition Aaron will live with for the rest of his life because he abused prescription pills. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. When people talk about common sense uh, gun safety regulation or, or firearm safety regulation, this is an example of something that people across the political spectrum can work with. Law enforcement taking away guns from people who are a danger to themselves or others. Will it work in Florida? I'm Alan Cohn. Red flag warnings. Meet me at the trapezoid. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Coming up Wednesday at 4, grab your calendars. There are some hot tickets coming up. Get the scoop on the new season at Oslo Rep. From classic dramas to big musicals, plus a few big Broadway names, we'll get an exclusive preview with artistic director Michael Edwards. Southeastern Guide Dogs shows how they change the lives of veterans everywhere with their service dogs. Plus, we preview all the events at the Suncoast County Fair, and Chef Judy introduces us to some new Suncoast restaurants in the kitchen. Welcome back. We're here with designer Julie Defonce, and you are going to decorate, and we are going to replicate. <laughs> Is that yes. right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's going to make their own. So I brought along a, a top tier of one of my wedding cakes. Um, it's a six-inch tier, and mm -hmm. I wanted to show you how I cut the layers um, and yours are pre-cut so this is a cake leveler mm -hmm. and basically it's two wires and you can set them to any oh. height you want and this is how you get your tiers uh, level yeah wow. so that's how that works and then this is um, snacks nice yes. mm -hmm. yeah we get to eat the mistakes which yeah I'm the weather muffin about. will eat that so <laughs> a lot of my um, brides and grooms want their guests to have two different flavors so what I do is I alternate the flavors so if you take the first Everybody's going to do their own. So mm -hmm. if you take your pastry bag mm -hmm. and you take the bottom tier, an end, doesn't matter which one, mm -hmm. I usually put a little dot oh. there to glue it. Oh. OK. 
Okay. On the bottom. On the bottom, in the middle. Bottom in the middle. Oh, the bottom in the middle. And the, there's also a trick with the pastry bag. If you hold it kind of in the middle so it doesn't go that way, it just you want it just to come out the front. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, now we're going to make a circle around the outside, and you can hold the pastry bag in one place, and you just turn oh. the turntable like that. Ooh. Okay. And then I'm going to keep going. So then you just make another circle, and you make a spiral. Oh. Okay. And then when you got it sort of filled in, there's a little um, angled oh. spatula, and you just go over it and smooth it. So in addition to taste, obviously we want frosting in between the layers. Does this have another purpose? The frosting in between yes. the layers? Um, well, it just <laughs> divides it up, I guess, a little bit. And then you could put different kinds of fillings or frostings. Oh. Um, visually, sometimes, you know, I put fresh fruit sometimes, so you have, uh. when you cut into it, you see different things. Yep, so there you go. So you put the, op the other flavor on top, and then you just do the same thing. How do you spin and squeeze at the same time? <laughs> <You're spinning and laughs> it's like tapping your head and rubbing yeah, your nose. Yeah, it, <laughs> yes. it really is. And if, then you get if you can't do it, you can just uh, leave the turntable and, you know, draw the spiral like that. Oh, oh okay. Look, you can just do it without... Oh my gosh, this is exciting. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so that basically, this is, you know, this is my life. This uh, is what I do every day. My life with cakes. My life with cakes. Oh, you had to... Oh, right, okay. So I'm you kind, kind of cheating on you the guys method. Are, you guys are doing really well. Let's talk a little about the buttercream oh, okay. frosting here. Um, you, I heard you mention earlier that it is, you have to be careful when you're cooking with it because it can. Well, it's, yeah, so I use um, oh, a Swiss meringue buttercream recipe, so it's got a lot of butter okay. and egg whites and sugar and vanilla. And then I usually put white chocolate in it because it becomes even more stable. So if you have a hot climate like Florida or mm -hmm. Portugal, um, y you know, we're dealing with usually warm weather when, when we have a wedding outdoors and you don't want anything to melt. So the butter, if it's cold, and the chocolate when it's cold, it'll stay solid longer. Wow. Oh. Yeah. All, these, all these little mini things make a big difference yeah. with, for your cake. Wow, who would have thought? So for the top, when you get to the, the last layer, flip it so you have the, the bottom. So it's upside down, so the mm -hmm. bottom is on the top. Can I just say, this is so fun. <laughs> it's like, I'm telling I, you, this is exciting. It's like going to summer like camp and cake meditation. Something. Are you going to grade us on how we're doing? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. So um, when, you're on, when you're done, just put a big blob on top. Mm -hmm. Oh. And, and then we're going to crumb coat it. So My blob enough? Your blob enough, yeah. <laughs> okay. So what you do is with your spatula, you take a little bit Ooh. And you go down the sides. We're, crumb coating is just to seal the outside of it to make sure that when you put the last layer of buttercream, you don't get any crumbs in the real, you know, in the layer that people are going to see. Oh. So it's just to seal it. Oh, and that's, that's a good tip. Yeah. So at this point, you know, once I would spread it all out and smooth it, I would put it in the fridge for an hour. Oh, okay. my goodness gracious. Yeah. This is a lot harder than it looks. And this is only the top tier. This is only, yeah. <laughs> wow. We have yeah. 42 tiers to go. <laughs> wow. So, oh, Julie, as we're starting to wrap up a little yes. bit, if people were interested in contacting you for one of your cakes, um, yes. how, how early in advance would they need to get on your calendar? Uh, right now I'm booking for the fall and winter and spring. Okay. So 6 to 12 months at oh, this point. Great. Yeah. Well, you can find out more about Julie's amazing luxury design cakes by going to her website, juliedefonce.com. All right, those two down right, there see. are Hello. having some kind of fun. <laughs> what? It's pretty good. Right. Big thank you to Jeffrey and Linda. Great ha to have you both happy here. To, happy to be here. Oh, Jeffrey so will be back tomorrow, and Linda will be back next week. In the meantime, take some time, enjoy the Suncoast view. I'm going for the And mistakes. have some cake. Yeah.